you're a bit emotional at the moment. Can you explain why? Well, I guess we always get emotional when it comes to election time. I'm really emotional because I know that the candidate that we stood was an outstanding candidate and he would have done a great job for Te Tai Hauaru. And I think when you've worked for 18 years in an electorate and you see the needs of your electorate, the fact that what the Māori Party has achieved in Parliament really sadly hasn't meant a thing to our people. So $2.8 billion over six years, making that difference clearly um, hasn't been seen as being worthy of the vote. So I'm not sure what our people want. I'm not sure what they really need. But what I do know is that we did the very best job we could and that Chris was an amazing candidate and worked really hard in this electorate. You said that, um, you know, you were sad that all the Māori seats had, six of the Māori seats have gone back to Labour? Yeah, I am sad that the six seats have gone back to Labour because they're going to be in opposition. And in opposition, you cannot do anything. So to see our people giving their vote to a political movement that is not going to make one iota of difference over the next six years, uh, three years, sorry, and made no difference in the nine years when they had plenty, yes, I am sad. You said that um, the best candidate didn't win into Tai Hawaru. Are you standing by that? I stand by that because all the commentators, there wasn't one political commentator who didn't say that Chris McKenzie was an outstanding candidate and should be the person who comes through. I believe that. In regards to Te Tai Tokiro, Hone is, looks like he's ousted by Calvin Davis as well. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, I'm not going to make a political comment about that, but I will comment as somebody who was once a friend of Hone's. And I want to say that I think the biggest mistake he made was thinking that Kim.com could make a difference to his campaign, that he would bring in others with him. And I know that he could have done it believing that, but in the end it wasn't to be. So he'll be extremely disappointed tonight. Tai Tukero will be disappointed that they'll be losing him. But, you know, that's politics. One never knows really what our people are going to do. You've held Te Tai Hawaru for 18 years. Do you have a message for the people of Te Tai Hawaru? I would love to see the people of Te Tai Hawaru right throughout the country. I would like to see our people take a greater interest in politics so they can actually see what it is that people do. The tragedy is that six years ago when we were in opposition, we got more votes and got five people into Parliament from shouting from opposition, but we did nothing. So our people have to think about it, you know, do they want people to achieve things in Parliament or do they just want a loud voice speaking up for them? That's the question. Just my last question, National looked like they were able in a position to govern on their own. Well in the end that's entirely up to them. I imagine that they would want to have people working alongside of them. I think that's important for New Zealand. No political party should ever govern alone as they did in first past the post and that was the whole idea behind us moving to MNP but it's in their hands. Māori Party haven't gone to a positive note, Tūruru is still one Waiariki, Waiariki believe in the Māori Party so you're not wiped out of the political landscape despite what other commentators have said? Oh absolutely we're not and we won't be. I may not be in Parliament but I will always be political. I know the people in Tatai Hauaru are not in Parliament either, but they will always be political. So I'm proud of our people. I'm proud that we know that the way forward for us is to stand on our own two feet and not be reliant on the Crown to do to and for us and keep us trapped in the situation we've been in for the last 140 odd years.